Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to review the Honor Audi 2 Plus uh, which is uh, priced 8499 and uh, this is a decent budget offering from Huawei and uh, this comes with uh, a 5 inch HD display it's powered by a MediaTek uh, 6735 quad core chipset with 2 gigs of RAM other 16 gigs of internal storage uh, we have a 4000 milliamp hour huge capacity battery there is a 13 megapixel camera LED flash 5 megapixel front facing camera and dot 5.1 with EMUI so that was the spec aspect of this phone. Now let's go into the design and build quality. So design wise it's a fairly decent looking device. It's not really the best looking device uh, with a uh, great premium finishing. We have a lot of devices even in the budget category offering good design and build quality. Now you can see the sides have been given a chrome finish which actually looks quite good but uh, the quality could have been slightly better. We have the power and the volume keys on the right side, uh, the speaker grill and the uh, micro USB charging slot at the bottom. The 3.5mm module jack at the top and on the rear panel we have this pattern now uh, you can see this pattern on the rear panel and uh, the 13 megapixel rear camera so all in all it looks quite good in terms of the design and build quality it's not a standout design it's a uh, typical uh, budget smartphone design but it does have some decent quality all around now let's move on to the display so this comes with a 5 inch HD display it's an IPS LCD panel and uh, the, uh, the, the colors are quite good on this uh, HD, HD display and it looks quite sharp as well you can see the colors looking quite good and the viewing angles are also decent but the issue with the display is that there is no protection offered uh, very similar to the Honor 5X there is no Corning Gorilla Glass support and the display uh, touch response isn't really good it kind of sticky at nature it's not really smooth so if you're looking for a great display performance this is not really the best in this category we have a lot of devices like the eureka uh, eureka plus rather and then uh, we have the cool pad note 3 which much better display in this price point so the display on this device is not really the best in this category it's a decent performer uh, the biggest issue is the touch response and lack of any protection offered in this price point so that is a display aspect now let's move on to the software so this phone comes with android 5.1 lollipop with a custom emui so we have seen the emui on uh, the honor 5x as well uh, so this can see here emui uh, 3.1 with android uh, 5.1 you can see this is a light variant of the emui the honor 5x has the full variant and this is the light variant and you can see there are some decent options available like motion control and you can also customize the navigation bar so these are just some decent options you can see that this is a stripped down variant as i said before it's a light variant and uh, when you compare with the options available on the honor 5x there are lots of features missing here and uh, this also comes with uh, some decent options uh, you can see there are some themes to customize you can download and uh, install a lot of additional themes available uh, then uh, we have some core apps like uh, gallery video there is a, there is also phone manager where you have the phone accelerator power saving mode traffic manager storage cleaner and a few other options so these are some good very good options available and uh, they are not uh, cut down in this variant so software is a uh, decent uh, you can see the notification panel uh, it's um, uh, it's uh, a custom one with quick toggles but it's not uh, anywhere uh, close to the stock android it's completely customized is very similar to most of the Chinese OEM with multiple home screens. Now talking about the performance is a decent performer in this category. It has this quad core chipset with 2 gigs of RAM and offers decent performance all around. Now uh, when we played uh, the gaming on this device it was uh, just decent. Uh, we could uh, get decent performance all around with the gaming uh, on this device. We have uploaded a detailed gaming uh, review of this device. You can check out that uh, video to get more details on how the gaming performance was. Uh, so in this uh, aspect uh, uh, in this category we would say uh, the gaming performance was uh, decent uh, uh, but not really uh, close to the cool pad note 3 which performed uh, really well in terms of the gaming experience now this phone comes with 4g lt 16 gigabyte internal storage dual sim card support so everything is there you can also expand the storage via micro sd card so all in all it's a decent performing device uh, if not the best in this category we would say the cool pad note 3 definitely outperforms this device in this category also cool pad note 3 has a fingerprint scanner which is missing on the uh, on our Audi 2 plus so this uh, basic phone uh, in this aspect now let's move on to the camera so this phone comes with 13 megapixel rear camera and front facing 5 megapixel camera so you can see the interface is again a stripped down variant when compared to the honor 5x uh, we have just photo and video mode some decent options here panorama hdr watermark and audio note now if you look at the interface uh, some filters are also included there is uh, only 720p recording that's kind of disappointing at this price point now even the budget ultra budget smartphones offer a full hd video recording so this has just 720p so talking about the 
photo quality this weather on only two plus uh, disappoints with a uh, poor quality camera uh, on this device so uh, the camera samples uh, which we took this device was uh, quite disappointing it was underwhelming and uh, uh, the colors were lacking uh, unlike uh, it's it's very unlike of the honor series uh, where honor series have been known for great camera this honor only two plus disappoints with a poor camera performance all in all the four images are dull there is a uh, lack of sharpness uh, overall color quality doesn't look good so all in all it's not uh, it's not a great camera in this price point there are a lot of lot of better cameras like the mizu m2 offering great camera so this is not a, a one great camera in this price point uh, definitely disappoints and also video recording is just 720 which is again kind of disappointing at this price point so all in all uh, if you're looking for great camera experience uh, this is not the device to choose uh, and uh, you can also go with the cool pad note 3 or the mizu m2 for a better camera experience now uh, let's talk about the battery so this is one of the important aspects so it comes with a 4000 milliamp hour battery and this is really good performance and uh, with average uh, usage you can get uh, at least uh, more than a day of uh, usage you can see there's a power manager we have a uh, performance mode smart mode ultra battery saving mode so you can uh, choose between these uh, modes and uh, get a uh, better battery life apart from that there is also reverse charging so that's one uh, useful feature available on this device what you can do is uh, if you go to the battery options you can see power bank you can use this phone as a power bank and do the reverse charging that means you can connect a usb otg cable and connect another smartphone to this phone and charge the other device so that's one useful option so all in all it's a really good battery performance more than a day easily you can get on this device so now we have talked about a lot of aspects uh, including uh, the the performance the display aspects uh, the the camera the battery and lot more now this phone is priced 8499 so does it make really sense to buy this device when we have a lot of other competing devices with better specs like the cool pad note 3 the mizu m2 the u uh, u eureka plus uh, which is again offered at slightly high pricing so a lot of devices offer better pricing and uh, specification uh, when compared to the Honor Audi 2 Plus. So the only advantage of you would say with Honor Audi 2 Plus is the power bank that's a 4000 milliamp capacity and apart from that everything is just average, uh, display is uh, just average, design and build quality looks quite decent, again the software and performance was again decent, the camera wasn't uh, really great, uh, it was an underwhelming camera and not really the best. So if you're looking for great uh, battery performance, this is a decent pick in this price point. So that is the detailed uh, review of the Honor Audi 2 Plus. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.